Do you know what your paternal haplogroup is? Well, you can find out by taking a DNA test. Howdy, I'm Andy Lee with Family History Fanatics, where we help you understand your DNA, climb your family tree, and write the story of your ancestors along the way. We do this through our YouTube channel, through online education, as well as through books that we write. So please check out our other offerings in the description below. Now your paternal haplogroup is a representation of your father's 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 father. It is the mutations that have happened on your Y chromosome as it's been passed down through the generations. Now, as we map back haplogroups, we come back to a single haplogroup, a single individual, and this person lived in Africa some 70,000 years ago. And that is where all of the Y DNA for everyone on the earth came from. Now on Family Tree DNA, you can actually see this map of the haplogroups. You can see over here, it starts with what's called Y-DNA atom in Africa, and then it starts to branch off. And so you have the A and the B haplogroups in Africa, and then it goes into some C and D haplogroups, which cross over into the Asian continent. And from there, it starts to explode into lots of different ways. So depending on where your haplogroup is, you may have a ancestry that traces back through lots of different migrations. Let me show you for mine, how mine happened. So I'm in haplogroup R. And as you can see from my journey over 60,000 years ago, it starts with the haplogroup F and haplogroup F migrates out of Africa. And then it goes into haplogroup K, which is right around the Iran area about 40,000 years ago. So we're still talking prehistory times. From there, it migrates up into the, um, between what the, the or just onto the, the east of the Caspian Sea, that's where haplogroup R starts. And haplogroup R then splits into R1, and then R1A goes over into the Baltic area of Europe, and R1B follows along a route into the southern area of Europe, and eventually to England, because that's where the majority of my ancestors are from. So R1B is basically descended from R1, which is descended from R, which is descended from P, which is descended from K, from F, from CF, from CT, from BT, and from Y DNA atom. If you have tested with family tree DNA, you can go on to this and look for migration maps, and you're going to see how your DNA, your Y chromosome has migrated through the years. Now, if you have any questions about paternal haplogroups and how they can relate to genealogy, put it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.